Hi, this is Pete Buckelman with Slate Media Technology. I'm here today to show off the new Batch Commander application, which has been taken directly from our Raven software. It is one of the most convenient utilitarian plugins on the market right now, and we're happy to bring it to you at AES 2014. So let's jump in and I'll start showing you some features that we've implemented for Pro Tools. So something that you're always gonna need when you're working on a recording session is more tracks. With the click of one button, I can come here and create eight new audio tracks just like that. As you can see, I'm sitting back doing, it's doing the work for me. Uh, I can come down here and go to the, the vocal tracks and create my plugin chain that I'd like to use for ease and simplicity. I hit vocal chain and it's gonna go through. Just show me those tracks give me the plugins that I've already pre-programmed to be on there. It's gonna go through this process. In the meantime, I could be talking to the band, figuring out what track we're gonna do next, any number of things. The whole point is to speed up workflow and keep you from having to be a technician and keep you creative. So it's creating macros, basically? This is, this is exactly doing that. It's creating macros that you can stack upon each other and have access to at one button. So rather than having to enter all those key commands in or click around uh, millions of times through each session, it's all ready to go and under one button. So another thing you're always gonna need is your drummer's gonna want a headphone mix. So let's select all the drum tracks. I can hit headphone mix. It's gonna go through. It's gonna put a send on each one of my tracks. It's gonna route it to this aux return and I can then route that to my drummer. He's ready to go with his headphone mix. So let's check out some drum editing features. Everybody's got to get their drums perfectly aligned to that grid for the modern day recording sound. So we've taken some of the pain out of having to beat detect everything manually. And we can come here and hit snap transients to grid. And that's basically going to do what beat detective will. It's going to analyze everything. It's going to tab the transient. It's going to put a fade after it breaks everything and puts it on the grid. And then it's going to reconsolidate. So let's watch it go to work. It's gonna set my pad to five milliseconds just like I'd have in Beat Detective. It's gonna go through, chop everything up. There you go. Let's do that one more time. Snap the transient to the grid. I'm sitting here thinking about what my next move is gonna be. Staying creative, not worrying about all the technical stuff and we can keep moving on. When it comes to uh, working on the vocals, say I need to fly the hook because I'm in pre-production and I just wanna get a quick reference for everything. Once I have all my markers set up, I can take this chorus vocal and hit fly hook, and it's gonna throw it to each of my markers and put it directly where it needs to be. Speaking of vocal editing, if I need to do a pitch shift for just part of this section, I can customize what I want that to render. Let's do 12 cents. I hit confirm there. I hit custom pitch shift, and it's gonna bring up my audio suite pitch shift plugin and customize it to 12 cents. It's gonna render it and we're gonna be good to go. So as you can see, the functionality that the Batch Commander adds, is, adds to your workflow is just immense. You know, it, it's like I've been saying, it allows you to get back to being creative and not have to worry about all the technical stuff. So it's, uh, it's something that we've been working on for a while and we're really excited to revolutionize all you guys' workflow. The Batch Commander is already out for your purchase. It became available Thursday of this week, right before AES, and it's $99. You can also download a demo on our website and check it out for yourself. Thanks again for watching, and we've had a great time talking with you.